Hi friends, I'm trying to give you a solution or an explanation for another very frequently asked MCQ on uh, on social media to me. So that's pertaining to one of the MCQ was the risk factor associated. I'm just reading out the MCQ from another computer that I have. The risk factor association of smoking with the pancreatic cancer was studied in a case control study. The values are as follows. So there is a study on pancreatic cancer the values are given as group a group b and group c the odds ratio which is given is 2.5 1.4 1.5 and the 95 percent confidence interval or the 95 percent confidence limits that is given is 1.0 to 3.1 1.1 to 1.7 0 0.9 to 1.7 well, this is the small MCQ they had given and which of the following is correct. The risk is more with group A or group B or group C. Well, uh, let's take an easy look at this. So in the screen, if you see that group A is 2.5, B is 1.4, C is 1.5. It is very eminent. It is but a natural. Don't see the 95% CI. It, you just simply see the odds ratio. I think everybody of us must know this, that if we just look at the odds ratio, it is uh, easy to understand that the odds ratio of 2.5 shows the maximum risk. Well, uh, 2.5 does show the maximum risk, but now if you just look at uh, closely at the 95% confidence interval, we see that it is 1.0, 3.1, 1.1. So what does all this mean? So let me just show you something over here that if you talk of biostatistics, you might have seen there's something known as a normal distribution curve. So at the center point, there is the mean or the central odds ratio over here. I'm, I've plotted odds ratio on a normal distribution curve. So this is minus one, plus one, SD, two SD, three SD. So this is 95% confidence limit, plus minus two SD. So minus one, minus two, minus three, plus one, plus two, and plus three. So minus one plus two is 95% confidence limit. So this question shows that the confidence limit is 1.0 to 3.1. So this is 1.0 to 3.1. And what is the center point? The center point, as we can see, is 2.5. If you look at option B, 1.4, 1.1 to 1.1 uh, to 1.7, and this is 1.4 and uh, 1.5.9 1.7.9 1.7 and the center was 1.5 1.5 this was group a group b and group c now if you just appreciate what you saw was these points and it looks that 2.5 takes the maximum risk but this way over here if you see the lower part of the 95 percent ci it is 1.1 this is one this is 0.9 what does one ci mean what does one odds ratio mean odds ratio if it is one what does it mean it means odds ratio if it is equal to one it means no association if it is minus one it means a negative association if it is plus one it means a positive association so therefore if you take the odds ratio as one in this point that means no so that means group a they sometimes showed no association sometimes they showed a positive association group b showed a positive positive and a positive group c sometimes showed negative association and then there was somewhere in the line there was one as well and then it was a positive association so it showed a negative association no association and a positive so this is redundant we don't use this odds ratio we don't consider this odds ratio this is one of the most uh, like this comes up as the most important risk factor for us so therefore we'll say that the risk with group b always shows a positive association and we'll take this group b odds ratio as the final odds ratio or the or the uh, analysis of this odds ratio is that maximum risk is with group b so that's all for this question so uh, take home message I'll just sum it up in one sentence. Take home message, look at the odds ratio, which one is maximum, takes the maximum risk. But if they give you the 95% confidence limits, if they give you the 95% CI, look at the range. If it any day, if it contains the value one, you can see 0 0.9, 1.7, so it contains one. 
one contains one so if it contains the value one that means this odds ratio would be a redundant odds ratio if it contains 1.1 if, if it does not contain one that is an important if uh, somehow there was a group d also group d showed let's say it showed uh, the risk as 0.6 odds ratio as 0.6 with the 95 percent cei as 0 0.8 to 0 0.4 to 0 0.8 so obviously this is also a important odds ratio obviously it's on the other side so always uh, remember if you have the value one that odds ratio is not important to us so that's all for this question and yeah, i hope uh, in the mcq exam you can solve it